Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the end of Windows 10, according to Microsoft, is happening soon. Microsoft has said that next week, the 14th of October, that the end of support for the operating system, which is now 10 years old, will have come to an end. And in regards to the end of support, as you may well know, Microsoft already has a Windows PC Health Check app that lets you see and check to see if your Windows 10 PC can be upgraded to Windows 11 due to the strict hardware requirements. And something else I have been posting about on the channel is a third-party app called Why Not Win 11, which I have spoken about previously. And I actually think that if you are trying to check out your hardware specs, as an example, to upgrade from 10 to 11 to see if your specs match those system requirements, then why not Win 11, I think, is a better option, as I've mentioned previously, because it does give you more detailed overviews and descriptions and explanations of what you can actually do about an issue if something does not meet that system requirement. Obviously, you'll have a bit of an X button here if a component does not meet the system requirement. Now, just to let you know, and as you most probably can see, the app has had quite a big update. And if we head over to GitHub, where it's maintained and developed, version 2.7, where the developer says it's received a new coat of paint. And this looks quite different to how it was previously. Now, over and above the visual changes, just to mention some of these, where there are changes to the sidebar icons, Apparently, most icons have been updated. They've updated the program hover descriptions. And everything looks a little bit more rounded and fluent. With the latest update, which is quite a big update, Why Not Win 11 has received, according to the developer, improved CPU and GPU detection. And the ability to update the list of processes if the user is connected to the internet, which I think is a nice move. And it also supports themes that you can customize, obviously to get the app to your own personal choice and preference in regards to the way it looks and feels. So if we head to preferences, yeah, you have the ability to change the themes. And as I've mentioned previously, there are also some useful guides you can click on, which will take you online regarding Windows 11 requirements, enable TPM, skip CPU and TPM and so on. So those have been there previously. And if we head over to GitHub once again, I'll leave this linked where you can download the app. Here we can see that the change log for version 2.7 is massive. So you can just pause the video at a relevant timestamp if you'd like to get more in-depth information or check the article out it'll be linked down below so i personally do think why not win 11 is better than microsoft's attempt at finding out what hardware does or doesn't meet the system requirements for windows 11 and just wanted to put it out there seeing that we are getting closer now to that cutoff date and that end of support so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one